Yeah, so I'm going to show you a workflow to explore um, code that you don't know. And uh, Luke uh, from Pedalbed showed me the workflow, and I want to share with you guys because it's really, really cool. So first, we uh, clone the project we're interested in. So I'm just going to use the Reson Resonate uh, Python SDK. Right? So we're going to uh, clone the uh, Python SDK. And then uh, we'll just open that. And uh, now what we do, we'll just uh, take the entire source code, uh, concatenate it into one file. All right. So we have like a super simple uh, shell script. You can ask the you can ask the the chat itself to create that shell script for you, and uh, now go a little meta, right? And now we have all the all the uh, Python uh, source code in one file in the output file. Right? So we're gonna take that, and then we uh, create um, a Claude. Project. You can do something similar with uh, ChatGPT, but here we just uh, use uh, Claude. So we do a little example uh, project. So let's say example project to explore the Resonate Python SDK. We create our project. And then we add the entire source code. to the content and uh, give it some instructions. So for example, you tell Claude that a Claude is an experienced mentor and it answers question about the Python SDK. Right? So save the instruction. And now we have our project ready and we can start exploring the source code uh, with the help of uh, Claude. So for example, we can ask it, mm, what is the heart of the Resonate Python SDK? And then Claude has some thinking to do. And then uh, it's uh, going to help you explore a code base that you don't know. And it's like pointing out the interesting pieces. So, for example, it rightfully points out that the heart of the SDK is uh, the scheduler for production use and the DST uh, scheduler for um, test use. And then it also points at the cornerstone of the SDK, right? So it's like, for example, you see uh, it mentions the promise class, it mentions a uh, uh, context class, it mentions uh, the coroutine management and the dependency injection. So from there on, right, you can uh, then start exploring the high-level uh, concept and can, can tie them back uh, to the code. So I have used that on a few uh, different projects, and it really helps a lot navigating the code base that you don't know, because then it's like you can basically ask the chat to point out the most interesting pieces of it right, and the core mechanic, and then you already have context for yourself from where you can start your own exploration. Pretty cool, right?